they say about married couples? What do they say, Paul? That the longer they're together, the more they can read each other's thoughts. Okay, can you tell me what am I thinking right now? Hmm. I'll start by telling you your name. I can see it now. It's Catherine. Wow, you're good. Wait, wait. I'm getting something else now. It's hard to make out, but it looks like... Yes, that's what it is. What? You're thinking of your amazingly intelligent, considerate, good-looking husband. Sorry, Mr. Modesty, way off. I guess six months of marriage isn't enough for your mind-reading powers to fully kick in yet. I guess not. Hi, I'm Susan, and I'll be serving you tonight. Can I get you something to drink? Miss? Sorry, I'll have Pepsi, not diet either. Certainly. Will you be dining alone tonight? That depends if Colonel Tardy decides to show up or not. Oh, uh, all right. I'll, um, I'll check back with you in a little while to see if the Colonel has arrived. Another punctual date with my incredibly classy and apparently imaginary boyfriend. I spend all this time putting on makeup, come down here to meet him, and he can't even be bothered to show up on time. I wonder what's kept him this time. What time did I say I was going to meet Catherine? It was 7, right? Or was it 6? I've got to get a watch someday. Speaking from ample personal experience, I've reached the conclusion that girlfriends are considerably more trouble than they're worth. It's not like they ever really understand us guys. Girlfriend gets some spare time, and suddenly you're expected to drop whatever you're doing, shave your face, miss the last period of a tie game with the Penguins and Flyers, then drive to a restaurant and pay twice as much for food that could have been eaten in front of the TV. Damn, this relationship thing is getting out of hand. Hey, Susan, roll out the red carpet. The Colonel's here. He may be a deadbeat, but he's still pretty hot. Hey, Kat. Great to see you. Sorry I'm late. The game was tied up. I mean, uh, I was tied up. Not that she cares I'm missing what may be the best game of the season. I wonder if there's a cell signal so I can check the score in the washroom. That's okay. I totally understand. If she really understood, I'd be in front of the big 50-incher in the basement, and she'd be bringing me a cold one from the beer fridge. He was probably watching hockey. He's got that vacant, away-from-a-good-game look. I wish he liked me as much as hockey. You look amazing, by the way. She really is gorgeous. A little too much makeup tonight, but hot just the same. Aw, oh, thanks, babe. He's such a liar. But I'm glad he lies about the right things. I don't see a big screen in this joint. What kind of restaurant doesn't have the game on the wall? Hi, I'm Susan. You must be Colonel Tardy. What? Inside joke, sir. Can I get you something to drink? Uh, yeah. What do you have on tap? Uh, no, no, never mind. I'll just have water. Um, trying to lose a few pounds. Keep up with the guys and the team from work. Okay, I'll be right back to take your order.
oh great, now I'm feeling fat. Why is she looking at me like that? What have I done now? He may as well tell me I'm fat to my face. I know he's thinking it. Hmm, maybe Pepsi would have been a better choice. Oh well. Cheers! I'm fine. I guess I'm fine. Except for the fact that this whole relationship is a waste of time. I don't even know why we're still together. We've got to talk. Really talk. We're not being fair to each other. It's not that I don't like her. She just doesn't know who I am. If she did. I want to be with him. But something's not right. No, no, you go. Okay. I, I just don't think that we- Wait, let me go first. I haven't been honest with you. I haven't let you know who I am. Not really, but I'd like to tell you now if that's okay. Sometimes I get frustrated with how things are between us, but I hide it from you and I don't know why. Maybe because I'm scared. I don't want to hide it from you anymore. I want to be honest. I want you to be honest with me. I care about you and I want this to work. I really do. It's just that we're not playing this like a team. At least I'm not. Do you know what I'm saying? In some ways, we're both still selfish kids. And to be honest, I like living life my own way. But it doesn't really go anywhere, does it? life together. Our real life, that is. We learn to tell each other the truth and to bend a little. He's not perfect, but I do love him. I feel love, but I also choose to show love even when I don't feel it. This is how I show him I love him. I love you too.